As you can tell, there's audio issue with this video. Apparently I recorded once again with the microphone on my camera turned off, so here we are doing voiceover once again. Uh, hope that it works out okay for everyone. Now on this particular day we are visiting a, the exact location where my oldest child caught her very first catfish. Years ago, Oklahoma City did this program for local children where you could bring your kids and they would provide you with <clears throat> the fishing equipment, fishing pole, bait, hook, all, all the all that stuff, and teach your children how to fish. And so my children and I came out here and my youngest, and she was gung-ho, she would touch the worms and everything, but she didn't want to fish. And my oldest didn't want to touch the worms, but she wanted to fish. Uh, so this exact spot is where my oldest caught a catfish, and uh, I'll hopefully be able to find a picture and show it if you're on the screen. So uh, the lighting, you might notice, is a little darker for the intro. That's because we filmed it uh, at the end of the day rather than the beginning. And so let's see what we can find. When I first walked up to the shoreline, I saw about a foot beyond the waterline what looked to be about a, a disc about the size of a silver dollar, which I don't know if silver dollars are magnetic, but I figured I would try to at least see if I could identify what it was that was there off the shore. So these first few throws are really me just trying to drag the magnet across that location kept running into some branches that knocked me off a little bit from my course with the target as small as a silver dollar. It's easy to get knocked off course a little bit. I was not catching anything though, except a bunch of mud as you can see. I'm using the smaller magnet here to test the area and make sure that we don't have anything that our more expensive magnet might get snagged on that we could lose. Not picking anything up, but I've disturbed the dirt enough that I can't see the disc anymore. So, moved out a little bit. This rope is long enough, I'm pretty confident that I won't throw the magnet out far enough that I'll run out of rope. So, as long as it's not tangled up, I don't necessarily need to tie it off, especially when I'm casting from the shore. And what is i just caught a crutch that's not magnetic that's uh, probably aluminum uh, but i just happened to land the magnet right by the armpit support and oh the smell as the mud came out of this thing was so bad it smelled terrible but at least we got a crutch out of the water i doubt there are any Limp, uh, lame fish that will need a crutch. What is that? Oh, it's uh, some kind of metal. This is probably pieces that have corroded and come off of these, uh, this barrel that I can see right by the shore. As you can see, I like the Gold Peak Sweet Tea.
There's so many little flakes of this metal from the barrel. And you can just see right there on the shore. I can't tell if that's two barrels or just one that's broken up. Every throw here near the barrels is pulling up these metal flakes. And there's a bottle cap. Looks kind of gold. If I'm going to keep pulling up all these flakes, let's get our bucket closer to where we are. I was also glad that I chose to dig out some different gloves this day. Dealing with all these metal flakes like that, I definitely did not want to cut my hand. And I do keep my immunizations up to date, so I'm not necessarily worried about tetanus, but... I still don't want to cut my hand open on a rusted piece of metal. What is that? This was uh, just a big piece of the side of one of those, that barrel, or one of those barrels. At this point, I don't know if it's one or two. You can see just how corroded it is. More little flakes. Here I've decided to try to snag those barrels and pull them out of the water, but they just, there I hit the the bottom of that barrel and just knocked the bottom out and it's so corroded that there's not enough iron to attach to the magnet to pull the weight of the barrel out so decided to try my bigger magnet see if it has better luck I haven't run across anything here on the shore yet that I felt like I was going to snag on. Rope management seems to be one of my biggest challenges. That, finding a good spot to magnet fish. Usually I cut this part out, but decided maybe today you guys want to see what I struggle with. <laughs> Every time I coil up my rope and I move to another location, I often get tangled back up again just in the walk. So it's a, it's a constant challenge for me. Uh, one of these days I'll figure out a better way to function.
more flakes. I'm not sure why on the first throw I didn't go right back to the barrels, but here I've decided to pull back in, approaching the barrel, and maybe I can hook around there and grab it and pull it out. But There's just not enough iron left in that to pull up the weight of the barrel itself. I managed to pull out some good sized pieces, but I want to get the whole thing. There's a little bit of a drop off there at the end of that grass that you see right before the barrels. And that whole area underneath that grass just seems to be roots and branches. So I'm not real sure how stable it is to step out on that. Yeah, There's just not enough iron in that barrel to attach and pull out the rim kind of catches a little better but the weight of the barrel is just too much This isn't the fault of the magnet here, this is just that the the remains of the barrel itself don't contain enough iron. The magnet would be able to handle it without any problem if it was a new barrel. So I've just said I'm going to use the hook. Which I've already got set up the carabiner on the smaller magnet, so make sure and secure your carabiner before you throw it out in the water. always do that because you never know what you might hit that might open that carabiner up a little bit and then you lose a hook or a magnet it did take me a couple tries here to get the, the hook to catch because the, the magnet kept getting in the way There we got a good hook on that rim and the rest of the barrel just pulled right up this time. Just get my equipment out of the way of the rope. Have the barrel. There, as you can see, my rope management techniques are not very solid yet. <laughs> we'll take a closer look at the barrel in a little bit. Grass and metal flakes.
I think at this point I'm gathering all the stuff together because I'm going to try to hike around a little bit and see if I can find some other good spots. There's a bridge off in the distance that looks like it might have collapsed. It intrigues me. So I'm trying to gather all my stuff together. And I'm going to come back later for the barrel and the crutch. The bridge and the other places that I tried were uh, uneventful, didn't really find anything. So I've come back to our original location. And as I walked up, I noticed this perfectly good fishing lure just sitting there. It looks like it might have fallen out of somebody's tackle box. It doesn't look like it's ever even been used. It's in great condition. So I'm going to hold on to that. You can see there are some f people fishing off on the shore in the distance. Looks like that silver dollar shape I saw earlier was just a plastic bottle cap, which I'm not going to be able to hook with the hook or the magnet. I'm pretty confident with the lack of obstructions in the water at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to use our more powerful magnet. Do continue to pull out flakes from the barrel. So I also got some mud and maybe a rock. Coming back pretty clean now, so we may have gotten most of that barrel out.
grass that time. Did snag a little bit on some branches there, but it was not very bad. I pulled up another bottle cap. This one, I scraped it clean, and it, I think it looked kind of pink. I wasn't really sure about that at first, but the more I scraped away, the more I started to see there was a, definitely a crown visible through it, so it's an obvious Budweiser. There's a little piece of a fishing lure. Looks like the non-hook part's been chewed up pretty bad, and the, the point of the hook is broken off, so the hook's pretty corroded. Nobody's going to want to use that. Decided to move my bucket closer to me this time. When I had gone around earlier to investigate the bridge, there was not a lot there. There were a lot of branches and not a lot of good places to throw. But there were a lot of ducks, and I didn't want to really disturb the ducks too much. That's part of the reason why we didn't fish a whole lot around the other end of the lake there. Still some metal flakes from the barrel out there. So I've decided to go ahead and try to finish cleaning up that spot, see what other flakes there might be. Is a good size piece. Right there, there is a uh, fishing weight that somebody's line had gotten in between the corroded spots of the barrel, and their fishing weight had come off. And there's some fishing line holding the branch there to it. At this point, I'm just kind of looking around there in the end to 
see if there are any other big flakes that I may have missed. And here we got some fishing line and a good size hook. It's a big hook. It does hardly looks like there's any corrosion on it, so it's a little dirty, but it looks like a real solid hook. Somebody might want to use that too. I set that on the side of my bucket along with that other lure we found earlier in case I find somebody who wants it. Arrow flakes. Let's uh, pack up our gear and see what all we got. Uh, here I am recording our outro and talking about uh, what a good day we've had. Uh, here at the spot where my daughter caught a catfish. We are practically on our first throw out. We picked up that uh, crutch, but later we picked up this barrel and there's so many holes and stuff you can see corroded in it. And there are a number of places where there's fishing line that has been snagged through the barrel. There's a good shot of that crutch. I'm going to take all of my equipment back to the car and take the fishing lures I found over to those fishers and see if they want it. And then I'm going to come back and pick up the barrel and the, the crutch and clean up after myself. Try to always be responsible and pick up what you've caught. There's that fishing lure that I'm going to take over to them. And they had a really nice hook. But always clean up after yourself if you're out mending the fishing. Don't leave a pile of trash. Uh, unless your community you know has services to come pick that up. Uh, if you don't have the ability to haul it away yourself, like I don't, I don't have a pickup truck or anything, so sometimes I find things that are difficult, and you just 
put a post out on Facebook in your local community and uh, somebody, you'll find somebody if you look who will come and pick all that up. Uh, so always clean up after yourself, take care of the environment, take care of our, our resources and uh, be respectful of others and the animals around you. Oh, and uh, like and subscribe. While calling, carting out the barrel, I found these other two items that were stuck in the, the corrosion. It's a, a nice fly. The hook's kind of corroded away and broken, but uh, there's also some rigging there. Not sure if anybody would be interested in those items, but we did find them. So like, subscribe, share our videos, leave a comment. We enjoy hearing from you. See you soon.